In this video, we will just briefly define the uniform distribution, which is a probability distribution on a finite closed interval. In particular, if you've got the closed interval from A to B, this probability density function represents the uniform distribution. And what the textbook says of the uniform distribution is that if each output come in the sample space is equally likely to occur, then the random variable X has a uniform distribution. This is actually wrong as the textbook states it. Um, if X is a continuous random variable, then the probability of any given event is always zero. So every continuous random variable has this property. Each outcome has probability zero. So each outcome is equally likely to occur. You can see what the textbook is trying to say, though. If you compare the uniform distribution, which is just a straight horizontal line segment, with the distribution that looks like that, for example. Over here, if you select a number at random and you look at these two equally sized intervals, Well, this area is significantly greater than that area. So the number you select at random is much more likely to be over in this interval than it is to be over in this interval. By contrast with the uniform distribution, if you select any two equal sized intervals, this area and this area are the same. So a randomly selected um, number is just as likely to be here as it is to be here. I don't think the textbook gives any of the kind of standard um, metrics for the uniform distribution. I'll go ahead and tell you what they are. The mean of the uniform distribution is the average of the endpoints. A plus B divided by two. The standard deviation and the variant are a lot less intuitive. The variance is B minus A cubed 
divided by 12. And the standard deviation is therefore the square root of b minus a cubed divided by 12.